Okay, so what do we need to do while waiting for these last uh, constructions to finish? We're pretty close to being able to attack this thing. I feel like we might be a little bit close here, but eh, we'll see how it goes. We're just waiting really on the power conduit and one more turret. Uh, we just need some more steel. We do have plenty in stock, so that should get finished as soon as somebody finds the time. And I have noticed between episodes here that our our wall got wrecked. So let's fix that back up. There. Oh, there's a little a little squirrel. Ambus. Why don't you finish that guy off? Please. You know what? Just go stamp on it. There. Good job. And then she cleaned the blood up. That's pretty funny. Getting real close here. We definitely want to make sure we do the attack during the day, otherwise our turrets aren't going to be on. It's important we remember that. I'd like to start real early. We're still low-level psychic drone activity, so I think we'll let our battery charge just a little bit in case the, the shooting runs a little long. Because it's feasible that the sun will go down while we're uh, while we're shooting at the fucking thing, and that would be bad for everybody involved. So let's try and plan ahead a little bit. We'll spend us some time while well, nothing's happening here. Finn and NG are our construction team. One more little bit of sandbag. A little tiny bit of power conduit. Might not even need this last bit of power conduit. Oh, you put a roof on the fucking... Why are you guys so dumb? There. I'm glad I caught that. That would have been problematic if I hadn't noticed that our turrets weren't powered. Uh, we'll go back to accelerating some time. But we're basically ready. I think probably what we're going to do, we're, we're going to wait until tomorrow. And then, and then we will fight. Maybe not tomorrow. We'll give it one more day. I would like a little bit more power in our power conduit. Because I think that'll drain overnight. It may be that we can't actually get our battery charged. Yeah. So I think uh, the best thing is going to be to attack at dawn. Pablo, go get some sleep. You got a busy day tomorrow. Come on, everybody, get to bed. Got to get up with the dawn. Go fight some mechanoids. Hopefully, there'll just be one or two. And at that range, I'm kind of hoping for scythers. Because if it's the millipede things, or centipede, whatever the fuck they are, the bug things, we're going to have a bad time at that range with their fucking miniguns. Let's get everybody up and everybody out. Let's make sure everybody is actually armed first. Pablo has a gun. NG has our minigun. Oh, yeah. Trogdo has a gun. Finn has a gun. Excuse me, Julie? Yep, Julie has a gun. Everybody is armed. Moderately dangerous. Let's get everybody lined up on a firing line. Fucking trees are in the way. I didn't consider that. Is that everybody? Ambus, why are you so slow? Oh, you're frail. Well, she'll get here eventually. Let's have Finn start things off. Alright. We'll unrecruit him and then recruit him again. Get him up on the line. Oh my god. Pause. I need to figure out what's going on. Julie is on fire and very hurt. Pablo is very hurt as well. Let's let them go home. Let's get away from these fucking guns. That was a stupid idea. Oh, it wasn't actually a gun exploding. One of these guys has a fucking 
Something exploding. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Julie, get back. It must be the... Yeah, it's the centipede. Inferno cannon. Jeez. Please get back, Julie. Pablo is down. Julie, grab Pablo. Yeah, this is bad. I think we're gonna have to fall back here. Hope our turrets can do some work. We'll get Ambus back first. She has uh, a slowness about her. Alright. Oh shit. NG, get out of the fire. Oh, she's on fire. Run, NG. Alright, let's fall back. Let's get everybody back. NG, get back. Come on. NG, seriously, you gotta get back. Stop, drop, and roll, NG. Come on. She's gonna burn to death here. Yep, she's getting more and more on fire. She is fucked. Pretty much. Yep, she just lost consciousness. Don't go fight the fire, guys. Seriously. Uh, that is no longer a home region. Let's get everybody unrecruited. And we'll see if Finn can go and rescue NG. I don't have much hope. Oh, we knocked it out. Okay. Um. Shit. Do we have a doctor that's still up? Finn. Well, Finn will fix those guys when he gets back, I guess. Trogdo. No, we'll, let's just, uh... Let's just hope our turrets can do some work. We need to fall back, lick our wounds. Okay, the turrets have got him. The centipede is still alive. We might be okay here. We might be okay. Oh, man. That was really fucking bad. We'll get NG rescued. We'll figure out where to go from there. Oh, I thought we were fucked there. I was all worried about a, a minigun. And the fucking thing had an inferno cannon. Jeez. It's raining. That's helpful. Should save some of our stuff from the fire. Oh, we don't have a medical bed for for uh, NG here. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. Maybe they'll transfer to a, a medical bed. Alright, Finn. Do your stuff. You need to get these guys patched up pronto. No, don't. Come on. Heal first. Food is less of a priority. Stop the bleeding. Then worry about everything else. Our thing over there is getting kind of full, so let's compress it. Yeah. Look, I found a new thing. Kind of low on prepared meals, actually. Come on, Finn. You gotta get these guys up. Let's check the wounds. NG's just burned. Julie... Oh. Okay, nothing too bad. She got shot in the head. But there's no brain injury. I think she'll be fine. Oh! 
Pablo, your arm got burned right off your body. That's... That's unpleasant. Do we have an arm? We do. We have a prosthetic arm, anyway. Finn, seriously. Alright, fi finish feeding Pablo. And then... Treat Julie. Maybe we should do NG first. Yeah, NG has less health. Uh, treat NG. We could turn on another doctor, but... Our other people are so bad at it. They'd likely just cause more harm than good. So let's let Finn do his magic. I guess Pablo can't be a doctor anymore. Because of his, uh, his arm injury. I don't know why I paused it there. Let's see. That'll affect your manipulation. So will that affect your medical stuff? Surgery success chance seventy six percent. That's that's not bad actually. Medical operation speed sixty two percent. So you're you're slow at doing stuff, but I think you should still be good. Base he healing quality fifty nine. I don't know what it was before. We could compare it with uh, Finn here. What's his base chance? Uh. Eighty-four. So yeah, it is. It is affecting Pablo. I think. Uh, I made it full screen again. I'm gonna cycle the recording. I fucking hate doing that. I need to get a, a new monitor. I'm playing in widescreen on a fucking old four by three uh, aspect ratio CRT monitor. Not a great thing. But. We were looking at medical stuff. Uh, it's, who's got the highest actual medical skill? He has 12. He has 6. So yeah, it is really affecting him. He has double the uh, double the medical skill of Finn. And half the healing quality. Oh, Finn is starving to death. What a trooper, though. He's going to feed NG. Close that. Yeah, feed... Feed NG. Then you're gonna have to eat something yourself real quick. Before you die. Hopefully this mechanoid won't die. Before we can go up there and finish our stuff. I think tomorrow. Well, it's morning. So let's uh grab Ambas and Trogdo. And we'll have those guys go up and finish off the uh, crashed ship. We can have a turret shoot at it as well. Uh, not quite. Or this guy. Can you do it? Yeah. So that turret can help. Just a little bit. We could pick up the minigun and have Trogdo use that. But I'm afraid of them shooting the uh, the centipede there and killing it, which I believe would spawn more bad guys. Ambus is out of range, but I guess she can uh, move up here. She should be fine as long as nothing comes out of it, which it shouldn't while this thing's still alive. I hope. All right, Ambus, give it all you got. We'll have a, a spare AI core now, right? We can sell that. So that's pretty good. We'll get some good money out of this whole escapade. It is a shame about Pablo's arm, but all the rest of our injuries are fairly minor. I think we'll be okay. I, mean, I imagine uh, our burn victims are going to be scarred for quite some time, if not forever. Hey, NG can walk. I'm pretty impressed. I was really worried about NG. She might be okay once she heals up. I ho I sure hope so. I like NG. I like all our guys. Aw, oh, poor boar. Collateral damage. 
Hey, we got hospital beds. We'll have to build our hospital pretty soon then. Let's get machining and start disassembling these mechanoids. I think we get plasteel out of it, a little bit of uranium and stuff. Which is all stuff we need when we start making our ship. Come on, get there. One percent, come on. Awesome. Good job, guys. You go back home and have a, a well-deserved break. That was a little hairy. So I think we'll dis de roof that thing. And we'll just disassemble all that shit. Let's unforbid all this stuff. And we'll have somebody come and shut down that mechanoid. I think he's on top of another another dead mechanoid. Yeah. Let's gather up that scyther as well. So we have medical beds. So I'm thinking it's time we set up our hospital down here. Now we did want to make it out of marble. We don't have any marble blocks right now, so let's set that up. Oh, we are. Just nobody's doing it right now. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll get to that pretty soon. We'll get our hospital set up with marble. We could put down the beds now. We don't need to wait for the floor to be done. Let's do that. We'll put a, a lamp in here. Maybe a couple of lamps. Well, we'll run the power cable first. Seems like a pretty smart idea. And we'll put in some lamps. And hospital beds. Well, we can't make them out of wood. So this is going to have to be made of steel. It's fucking dark in here. I can't <laughs> I can't see what I'm putting down. I have just four beds, just like that. We'll put a, a lamp there. I'm going to put some flowers in here, too. Spruce the place up a little. Four beds should be enough. We might want to put a, a medicine stockpile in here as well. Uh, we're going to need a door. That's pretty important. We might want to start putting down some auto doors. Oh, goddammit. In our well-trafficked areas. Just to speed things up a little bit. Don't need all that. I don't know if that light is going to be close enough. So let's do that. Might need more lights. Hopefully it'll be bright enough. Nah, it's not going to be. Let's, uh, let's put one down. In preparation. We'll put one in the middle there. And then I guess we'll have to put that fucking power conduit back in. Because we do need it, after all. Alright. We'll also probably need a heater in there. I mean, it's okay now, but it is... What season are we in? Spring. Speaking of spring, I hope you guys all had a, a good Easter. Uh, an enjoyable Easter weekend. Even if you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the holiday weekend anyway. Nice long Easter break. Well, not long. But most of you probably got an extra day off work, right? I hope so anyway. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, heaters. Durr. Put a heater in there. And we want a cooler. Have to mine that out though. We'll put that in once that's done. Things are looking pretty good though. After our near disaster. I'm hoping somebody will haul that uh, minigun pretty soon. Well, let's go have NG equip it. It's her gun after all. There you go. How are you looking? Well, she's not even scarred. I am surprised. I'm 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 pleased, but I'm surprised. Pablo, you want to come up here and grab your gun? I guess we'll get that uh that whatever it was, Inferno cannon. When somebody deactivates that centipede. 
That sounds fun. Sounds dangerous, though. I know I have repeatedly stated I don't like using things like uh, the... What do you call those guns that set fire things? I can't remember. But those and grenades and stuff, I don't like using them because... Uh, generally, I'm more afraid they're going to hurt our guys than th the enemies that we're fighting. Oh, we can, we can set this up. We can start milling down slag, get metal. But I don't think we want to do that. Nah, I'm pretty happy. Finn and NG are going to do all this stuff now they've finished their deconstructing up here. Let's make sure we get rid of the no roof region in case we build something up there that we actually want to have a roof and we forget about that. It could happen. Centipede. Non-centipede. What does that mean? Is it a centipede or isn't it? Hmm. I have no idea what that's trying to tell me. How are we doing on our metal? We still have plenty. So they should finish off those medical beds. We did have plenty of medicine, right? Where does our medicine live? Yeah, we have... Well, that might not actually be enough to make all the medical beds. We're going to want a, a combat supply real soon. So we can stock up on some more medicine. It takes already some time. Nothing's happening. We're just waiting for constructions and shit. How's the temperature looking inside? It's starting to get warm, so I think it's time we turned on all our coolers. Is that all of them? Let's zoom out, make sure we get all of them. Except that one. And that one. There. Our guys will go around turning all of those on. Now it's going to make our corridor warmer for a minute until all the outside ones are turned on. But I think we'll be okay. And it's definitely getting hot in these areas. So I'm thinking we are going to want to start venting some of that to the outside. It's going to be a weak point in our defenses, but we're just going to have to deal with it, I think. We'll put one on there, one on there. We'll put one in here, too, just to help out up here a little bit. Hopefully that'll be okay. Ambus is cleaning up while our dream team builds all our stuff. Turn this heater down and match the others. My, uh, not minus 14. That wouldn't be a heater, dumbass. At 14 degrees. We'll make sure this uh, cooler matches as well. Which I think we have the cooler set to 21. Hey! Shed some light on the situation. Yeah, we're not going to have enough medicine to make all of these hospital beds. But I think we'll be okay. We can now get rid of this. Bullshit. Now have a dedicated hospital. We have room to put in more medical beds if we need to as our colony expands. Might need to service more people at once. Wait, did we turn off? Wow. I'm smart. I'm glad our freezer stayed frozen. Hey, Pablo. About that whole arm thing. You wanna have a prosthetic? Wait, which one's burned off? His right arm. Right arm. There you go. So hopefully Finn will do that, once he wakes up. You gonna do that, Finn? Oh, you're gonna have to use herbal medicine. I guess we're out of the good stuff. That's not thrilling. Hopefully he doesn't fuck this up. I mean, his medical skill isn't that good. Okay. He did it. He did it perfectly. Good job, guy. I would like to get Pablo a bionic arm at some point. He does kind of need his arm being our, our main doctor. I have to see what we can find in the traders when they come. 
We still haven't deactivated that guy. I'm sure somebody will get around to it. But what are we... 148? We're still in spring. We almost had a disaster with this fucking... this thing. I wasn't ready for fire and death. But we made it. We got a spare AI core we can sell. Hmm. I wonder how much money we'll get for that. 